Hey everyone, it's Millie. It's Gabby. <laughs> and welcome back to another week of Change by Degrees. Uh, and this week we have episode 84, The Fall of the House of Usher, <laughs> part one. Um, and this is kind of like version 2.0 of scary bedtime stories that we did last season. I know it's not Halloween anymore, but the fact that it's like a two-part series and people might be driving back for Thanksgiving next week, in case you didn't know, because Gabby told me that and I was like, wait, you're lying. What? That it was Thanksgiving, oh, this Thanksgiving week. Thanksgiving. That's crazy. Like nonsense. I did not see that coming. October and went by to- and then something happened and here we are in November. I don't know. Uh, once we I'm get scared. past September, September dragged on. But once we get past September, <laughs> it's like September. speed racer to the end of the year. <laughs> also, I haven't like done any Christmas shopping. Oh, so I mean, slacking. I am slacking. So this morning I was like, on like on You're like, what? <laughs> it's my brain what is dude, that like, killing itself mm, okay um but yeah do your christmas shopping and when you drive back if you're in college or just like getting ready for the fall vibes you can listen to the story from poe and it's so funny because you mentioned poe last week and i was Did like I? let's bring it full yes when because we were talking about writers yeah but i don't I, he wasn't one of mine or maybe i brought it up his name was mentioned okay. in the episode watch me be imagining it but i was I'm like i sure. didn't bring him I'm up i don't sure. think um, well, yeah. I'm pretty okay. sure. I did call, who did I call T.S. Eliot? Now I know, and I can't come up with You the said, other. Oh, she said, said, she was like, oh, Ernest <laughs> Hemingway. And I was like, okay, pause. Because Ernest Hemingway and T.S. Eliot are two very different writers. I don't know why that was in my brain. I know it's T.S. Eliot. Regardless, we're reading neither of them. We're reading Poe and a short story from him. Uh, and it's a little spooky. Gabby doesn't think it's that spooky. That's fine. Like I said, as you prepare yourself for Thanksgiving and maybe a little bit of a holiday and Christmas shopping, this is some easy listening in the background that I think uh-huh. will be quite enjoyable. I even warmed up reading because I get really anxious that I'm going to like mess something up. So uh, I have I didn't read the whole thing, but I like warmed up with the first paragraph. So I must be really ready because last time we did it, I had to edit it at like 1 a.m. I remember that. Because kept messing up and cracking up. Well, there was one, sometimes we were laughing, but other points it was like certain words we were like, wait, what the heck it. does so, that say? So I hope that doesn't mm. happen. I got down a few pages and that didn't happen, so maybe. Good. I don't it was think pretty, it's, as, it was it's not as easy. old as the other short story we read, right? Maybe that was Um. It. Well, this one, I don't remember when the other one was published. Still 19th century, but Poe was old-timey times. He published mostly in the 1840s, so still old-timey time, but he wasn't as wordy as some other writers around that time. So thank you, Poe, for making my life maybe a little bit easier. And I hope, like I said, since we're going to include video, and I don't know what else I'm going to do with this, but that we don't mess up because it was just audio last time and I like had to edit the crap out of it. Right, because but with we video, cr- it's kind of... Like, that's it. This is what you're going to get. So when I like... We'll see. When I lose my life halfway through a sentence, and just try to keep on to the story is all I have to say. Um, but scene. Okay. Okay, you, you ruined oh, the whole sorry. setup. Oh, sorry. I was saying, okay, setup. like, like no, no, no. okay, let's go. No, no, no. I'm See, sorry, you do it. Do you actually, am I starting? Sure. Okay. Wow, I love how we plan this You out. have to read the title and everything I and the will. author. Okay. Oh. Edgar oh, Okay, okay, okay. Edgar. Oh. Okay. okay. Scene. The- <laughs> sorry. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Wait, okay, wait, okay, okay, okay. Do you want me to start? I was just... You're the one. I like how you looked at me like. I, wait, wait, wait. You can't. Can you do can't do it. We can't, we can't, this is not like the other episode. We have to get through this. No, I think okay. we will. It's just starting. Sometimes it's okay. Like okay. Okay. Difficult. Okay. Oh, I did so well. Okay. Scene. The fall of the house of Usher. Edgar Allan Poe. Part one. It was a dark and soundless day near the end of the year, and clouds were hanging low in the heavens. All day I had been riding on horseback through country with little life or beauty, and in the early evening I came within view of the house of Usher. I do not know how it was, but with my first sight of the building, a sense of heavy sadness filled my spirit. I looked at the scene before me, at the house itself, at the ground around it, at the cold stone walls of the building, at its empty eye-like windows, and at a few dead trees. I looked at this scene, I say, with a complete sadness of soul, which was no healthy, earthly feeling. There was a coldness, a sickening of the heart, in which I could discover nothing to lighten the weight I felt. What was it, I asked myself, what was it that was so fearful, so frightening in my view of the House of Usher? This was a question to which I could find no answer. I stopped my horse beside the building, on the edge of a dark and quiet lake. There, I could see reflected in the water a clear picture of the dead trees, and of the house, 
and its empty, eye-like windows. I was now going to spend several weeks in this house of sadness, this house of gloom. Its owner was named Roderick Usher. We had been friends when we were boys, but many years had passed since our last meeting. A letter from him had reached me, a wild letter which demanded that I reply by coming to see him. He wrote of an illness of the body, of a sickness of the mind, and of a desire to see me, his best and indeed his only friend. It was the manner in which all this was said. It was the heart in it which did not allow me to say no. Although as boys we had been together, I really knew little about my friend. I knew, however, that his family, a very old one, had long been famous for its understanding of all the arts and for many quiet acts of kindness to the poor. I had learned, too, that the family had never been a large one, with many branches. The name had passed always from father to son, and when people spoke of the House of Usher, they included both the family and the family home. I again looked up from the picture of the house reflected in the lake to the house itself. A strange idea grew in my mind, an idea so strange that I tell it, only to show the force of the feelings which laid their weight on me. I really believed that around the whole house, and the ground around it, the air itself was different. It was not the air of heaven. It rose from the dead, decaying trees, from the gray walls and the quiet lake. It was a sickly, unhealthy air that I could see, slow-moving, heavy, and gray. Shaking off from my spirit what must have been a dream, I looked more carefully at the building itself. The most noticeable thing about it seemed to be its great age. None of the walls had fallen, yet the stones appeared to be in a condition of advanced decay. Perhaps the careful eye would have discovered the beginning of a break in the front of the building, a crack making its way from the top down the wall until it became lost in the dark waters of the lake. I rode over a short bridge to the house. A man who worked in the house, a servant, took my horse, and I entered. Another servant, of quiet step, led me without a word through many dark turnings to the room of his master. Much that I met on the way, I added, I do not know how, to the strangeness of which I had already spoken. While the objects around me, the dark wall coverings, the blackness of the floors, and the things brought home from long-forgotten wars... While these things were like the things I had known since I was a baby, while I admitted that all this was only what I had expected, I was still surprised at the strange ideas which grew in my mind from these simple things. The room I came into was very large and high. The windows were high and pointed at the top, and so far above the black floor that they were quite out of reach. Only a little light, red in color, made its way through the glass and served to lighten the nearer and larger objects. My eyes, however, tried and failed to see into the far high corners of the room. Dark coverings hung upon the walls. The many chairs and tables had been used for a long, long time. Books lay around the room, but could give it no sense of life. I felt sadness hanging over everything. No escape from this deep, cold gloom seemed possible. As I entered the room, Usher stood up. From where he had been lying and met me with a warmth which at first I could not believe was real. A look, however, at his face told me that every word he spoke was true. We sat down, and for some moments, while he said nothing, I looked at him with a feeling of sad surprise. Surely no man had ever before changed as Roderick Usher had. Could this be the friend of my early years? It is true that his face had always been unusual. He had gray-white skin, eyes large and full of light, lips not bright in color, but of a beautiful shape, a well-shaped nose, hair of great softness, a face that was not easy to forget. And now, the increase in the strangeness of his face had caused so great a change that I almost did not know him. The horrible white of his skin and the strange light in his eyes surprised me and even made me afraid. His hair had been allowed to grow, and its softness it did not fall around his face but, oh. And in its softness. No, my thing reloaded. Oh, okay. I can finish it. <laughs> and in its softness, it did not fall around his face, but seemed to lie upon the air. I could not, even with an effort, see in my friend the appearance of a simple human being. In his manner, I saw at once changes came and went, 
and I soon found that this resulted from his attempt to quiet a very great nervousness. I had indeed been prepared for something like this, partly by his letter and partly by remembering him as a boy. His actions were first too quick and then too quiet. Sometimes his voice, slow and trembling with fear, quickly changed to a strong, heavy, carefully spaced, too perfectly controlled manner. It was in this manner that he spoke of the purpose of my visit, of his desire to see me, and of the deep delight and strength he expected me to give him. He told me what he believed to be the nature of his illness. It was, he said, a family sickness, and one from which he could not hope to grow better. But it was, he added at once, only a nervous illness, which would without, without doubt soon pass away. It showed itself in a number of strange feelings. Some of these, as he told me of them, interested me but were beyond my understanding. Perhaps the way in which he told me of them added to their strangeness. He suffered much from a sickly increase in the feeling of all the senses. He could eat only the most tasteless food. All flowers smelled too strongly for his nose. His eyes were hurt by even a little light, and there were few sounds which did not fill him with horror. A certain kind of sick fear was completely his master. I shall die, he said. I shall die. I must die of this fool's sickness. In this way, this way and no other way, I shall be lost. I fear what will happen in the future, not for what happens, but for the result of what happens. I have, indeed, no fear of pain, but only fear of its result, of terror. I feel that the time will soon arrive when I must lose my life and my mind and my soul together in some last battle with that horrible enemy, fear. The Fall of the House of Usher, Part 2 Roderick Usher, whom I had known as a boy, was now ill and had asked me to come to help him. When I arrived, I felt something strange and fearful about the great old stone house, about the lake in front of it, and about Usher himself. He appeared not like a human being, but like a spirit that had come back from beyond the grave. It was an illness, he said, from which he would surely die. He called his sickness fear. I have, he said, no fear of pain, but only the fear of its result, of terror. I feel that the time will soon arrive when I must lose my life and my mind and my soul together in some last battle with that horrible enemy, fear. I learned also, but slowly, and through broken words with doubtful meaning, another strange fact about the condition of Usher's mind. He had certain sick fears about the house in which he lived, and he had not stepped out of it for many years. He felt that the house, with its gray walls and the quiet lake around it, had somehow, through the long years, gotten a strong hold on his spirit. He said, however, that much of the gloom which lay so heavily on him was probably caused by something more plainly to be seen, by the long-continued illness, indeed the coming death, of a dearly loved sister, his only company for many years. Except for himself, she was the last member of his family on earth. When she dies, he said, with a sadness which I can never forget. When she dies, I will be the last of the old, old family, the House of Usher. While he spoke, the Lady Madeline, for so she was called, passed slowly through a distant part of the room, and without seeing that I was there, went on. I looked at her with a complete and wondering surprise, and with some fear, and yet I found I could not explain to myself such feelings. My eyes followed her. When she came to a door and it closed behind her, my eyes turned to the face of her brother, but he had put his face in his hands, and I could see only that the thin fingers through which his tears were flowing were whiter than ever before. The illness of the Lady Madeline had long been beyond the help of her doctors. She seemed to care about nothing. Slowly her body had grown thin and weak, and often for a short period she would fall into a sleep like the sleep of the dead. So far, she had not been forced to stay in bed, but by the evening of the day I arrived to the house, the power of her destroyer, as her brother told me that night, was too strong for her. I learned that my one sight of her would probably be the last I would have, that the lady, at least while living, would be seen by me no more. 
For several days following, her name was not spoken by either Usher or myself, and during this period, I was busy with efforts to lift my friend out of his sadness and gloom. We painted and read together, or listened, as if in a dream, to the wild music he played. And so, as a warmer and more loving friendship grew between us, I saw more clearly the uselessness of all attempts to bring happiness to a mind from which only darkness came, spreading upon all objects in the world its never-ending gloom. That's depressing. But We really stopped on never-ending gloom. We really did stop on never-ending gloom. Wow. My page reloaded in the middle. That's, That's why. That's okay. Ruined it went everything. back up to it the top. The whole, the whole vibe. It ruined my vibe too. I was like <laughs> reading and the page was like, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Something had to go wrong. It was going yeah. too well. We didn't mess up too often. I think I lost my place twice. Like you were reading and I was like, oh my gosh, where's my paragraph? I'm and, done. Uh, so hopefully that didn't we did really impact the reading experience, but that went way better than the first time. I think the first time it was just, it was longer than Had we printed this. the pages? No. No. Maybe it's because also the way it was set up had like, um, rather than one line of text, it was like two columns it was per two page. Columns, and yeah. I think that really messed me up because you have to zoom in or whatever. It was just yeah. easy to get lost. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think I was reading off my laptop. That's what it was. We were reading off our laptops too. Yeah. It was just And I was sitting across from you, which I think makes it worse because I, <laughs> every time I would look up, you, anyway, it it's just easier really to not good. look at you when we're doing this. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> But no, we typically good. leave um, our comments for the next episode where we finish the story. So if you want to know our thoughts, you can catch us next week. Um, but let us know what, what you think about the characters already. Mm -hmm. I don't. You, you said you had read the story, right? Oh yeah. That's a complete I've read. Experience I've read a lot. Most of, of Poe because really? he was like the first poet. Has and he ever author that um, I, written a full length book, or has it just been like short stories? No, and poems? he only writes wrote. He's dead. Yeah. Only wrote <laughs> poems and short stories. Um, yeah, he he didn't write any novels. Or I'm anything. like completely immersed already, though. I think it, that's what has to happen when it's a short story. But it's yeah. so funny, and I said this was completely on theme because not, I should have looked up what we did last season. But it was about a house. It was, it was a haunted um, house. and It was Algernon Blackwood. It was um, The Empty House. The Empty House? Wasn't it? Yeah. The Algernon Black, Black, and it was well. I guess it wasn't occupied. It wasn't. It wasn't occupied, wasn't occupied <laughs> other than perhaps by ghosts. Um, yes. But it had very similar like language. How mm -hmm. the house was described, and uh, uh, the house was the character itself. So I think we're completely on theme. Super. I would say so. I just this is one of my favorite short stories by Poe. I really, oh, really, I really enjoy Fall of the House of Usher. Um, when when, did, when had you first read it? Um, was well, it in college? No, it oh, was no. way before that. I. Oh. Because I, um, when I was growing up, I don't remember where I got it from or if I bought it myself or someone gave it to me for like a birthday or Christmas, but I I had um, like a whole anthology of oh, all like of Poe's works. That's cool. And so I would just flip through them and read whatever I wanted. But um, yeah, I think the first time I read this, I was definitely in like elementary school and I read this one it was one of the first short stories I read by Poe. I was maybe like fourth or fifth grade. And then The Raven was the other mm. work I read by him. And then The Telltale Heart, of course. which is Classic. literally one of the best short stories. It's it's like, it's too short. Like we couldn't read it on this podcast because yeah. it wouldn't take two episodes. It would yeah. take about, it takes you about three minutes to read it. Right. But it is like one of the most brilliant short stories or even shorter than a short story. And also everybody knows that. I feel like this is a yeah. lesser known story. Yes. And um. But yeah, so this was one of the first short stories I read by Poe. Mask of Red of the Red Death is really good too. Is that also it? It's fun. Yes, or the Purloined Letter is very good. The Black Cat is very good. All his work is very good. But anyway, this is one of my favorites. So cool. Well, we hope you're enjoying this experience. I know it's a little bit of a shorter episode, but this time of year is crazy. So enjoy the little mm -hmm. break from reality. And uh, the next episode is bound to be just a tiny bit longer because, like I said, we'll talk about how the story ends. I really have no idea where it's headed. I just know that it's kind of um, depressing and might end poorly. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you can follow us on Instagram. I'll see. Oh, do it. Do more stuff? Uh, oh, yeah. We did. We, we, spo we, I'm supposed posted, to. we posted fun We've stuff. We've been posting Pretty frequently. Pretty, pretty good. So, I, like, mm. I love how we always have to end the episode because like, we're doing an okay we, job. Well, we but are truly. doing an okay job now. We are. Um, yeah, follow us on Instagram, <laughs> underscore change by degrees. Um, or, oh, oh, review on Apple. Oh, I do say that. Please give us one star on iTunes. Give us one star. A, a review. It can be a poor one. That's fine. Let's go review. Leave a comment. It'll be great. 
Um, also, our YouTube was. channel. Oh, which is popping, by the way. I don't know why you guys like certain episodes versus others. That's fine. Maybe you can tell me about it someday. Tell me but, about it. Tell but, me why. <laughs> yes, and apparently Tim said my color grade was fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, your color I'm sure, grade I'm was sure, so I'm, on point. I'm sure that next week it'll like. I'm sure this one will. Just well, the be lighting like a, is really weird here, and it's going to get progressively weirder because the sun is setting, and that's going to get. It's going to be the, on the whole wall day. is going to be blinding you in about. 30 I love minutes. that. So <laughs> I love just that putting so that out much. there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all we got. And, and the emails. Oh, and the oh, How I didn't forget. I didn't send one out last week, but it's okay. That's, I, I really, will. I will do. This. I've been trying to do my job. You have been doing so. very well. I've been doing like about seventy <laughs> percent. I have like a C. Like it's a solid. That's okay. Like, I, if it was up to me, you would get some crappy story that nobody knows and would end so terribly. We had enough. Had, would have nothing to discuss. Uh, so you can thank Gabby for the story know about choice. That, but um, it's you, it's nice when you have a writer to help to pick those certain things out. I try to do one thing good <laughs> <laughs> out of a season, but uh, yeah, and do all those things. Catch us next week to finish the story. Don't read ahead. Don't read ahead. Don't do that. Let us read to you very poorly. <laughs> let us, let us trip over our words. Let us let us and, do that. <laughs> yeah. While you maybe are confused, are cooking Thanksgiving <gasps> dinner you know, or oh, we don't, decorating we, we, for Christmas. What, oh my gosh! You know what we didn't what? talk about is what? the did fact that you cooked back and cheese this morning. I did. And you don't cook anything. So I I'm don't. Like so proud I of her. I do cook. I just don't enjoy don't say it. That. No, I do oh, cook. I have to. Yourself. I have to yeah, eat. Yeah, okay, okay, I have okay. to cook for myself. But cooking okay. for other people Depended. is a whole nother thing. I've cooked for my family like twice, <laughs> and they liked it. I my mom was like, "This lot. was really good." That's good. Um, but I, yeah, I don't. You cooked I'm, some nice mac and cheese. I did like, from scratch, which I have it to was, say is it one was of, from scratch. Not a hard dish, but like not the easiest of all the pasta dishes. I was very be, be patient. I was very concerned about the um, sauce burning. Yeah, they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Yeah, or just because I had I put heavy whipping cream. Oh. She's with thick. flour She's thick. and i was like hoping it wasn't gonna burn and, and it was oh, for the roux for yeah, the roux because like i was like little. trying to do too many things at one time like yeah. you do when you cook and so <laughs> it was like and of course the directions are like well this is cooking on the stove do this yeah, like, but hey, pause, don't pause. but you need to whisk it because it's gonna burn, burn. and i was like <laughs> ah like whisking crazily and then trying to do this other thing with the pasta and blah, blah. and then the pasta starts sitting together so i added oils to and it just anyway but it all came out really really well and everyone who ate it really liked it so. yeah 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 i had some breadcrumbs it was a whole process so the breadcrumbs while were you're, a while you're cooking a or well i deck no i just i good. went I a little extra bread i like i like extra bread it got, and then i accidentally forgot More it in the oven mac and cheese oh when i got to where i was going i was like can i warm this up and she said yes and i put it in the oven and i kind of forgot about it got a little crunchy but it's okay because the top was very browned it was very good anyway pretty that's okay that's so whether you're burning mac and cheese like me or like i decorate on black friday Mm -hmm. after thanksgiving Mm. but if you decorate early more power to you okay i've had christmas lives uh, up all year so i really can't judge anybody (laughs) but just get into the mood okay i know it's been like way too busy when i look at the next five weeks i want to kill myself but there's little things (laughs) dude wow sorry sorry. um literally what do you have to say about that i let me tell you no i'm not gonna i don't have anything to say that's fine I don't you wanna, do. She has plenty to say. I have plenty I have, to say, but have, I don't. We have plenty of things to do. I have an article to do at the end of the week, oh. along with the quarterly. I have, I have oh. a quarterly and an article to do at the end of the week. So Miss Freelance over here is like jam packed herself. I'm trying to finish things across the board. I love my life. You said well, uh, <laughs> stutter, stutter. I'm going to myself, but yes. Yeah, so when I look at the next five weeks, I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I won't make it. But I always say that. We all, here's the thing. We always say that. We always say that. And then because of just suddenly our jobs. It's January. And it's okay. And we do, it and it's just like a blur. So hopefully, with little moments like this, whether there's like a little mental health thing, whether it's like a 15 minute short story, listening to a podcast, listening to Christmas music, mm. we really, even on top of everything we have to do, me and Gabby want to do something so bad for you guys. Yeah, I feel like for it's the more last, you than me. You love that. I do. I do. But like, I but want, every I five minutes, it. you're like, I really you know what? I'm just not so going to. Okay, if Tim's listening, LOL. But every five minutes, Millie's like, I'm not going to work on the EP, which is her work I'm for screaming. work that I, she gets I, paid I to do. I am doing it. She don't, is. Don't, but don't, but don't this is your like feelings, like, though. I know, this, I know. She's like, I don't even want to work on the stupid EP. I, do I just want to do X, Y, and Z project for our podcast, which is yes. a surprise. Um, and I'm like, Millie, your job is to do the EP right now. Like, you might want to do that. No, I will do the EP and I will do this thing and it will be the most ratchet no funny, it's gonna be really good, funny high quality yeah. funny yeah. Stop, funny to stop us doing that. it's funny to, uh, and that's all that matters to <laughs> no me no one else will find it funny. um but i think it's gonna be like the best thing we've made to date if we make it happen so please hold me accountable i've been like i said the same way uh, i've done youtube videos even though we've still been so busy i'm going to do this song even though i haven't recorded a single piece of what 
I we want to do. And you I said on I, um okay yes, and I didn't get there because. <laughs> I on said, Friday, she's like, yeah, I'm going to stay. Because we had to go and set up and something the whole on Friday work. morning. And then I was like, okay, well, I had, we had to be back at like yeah. six. We and I was like, Target. And I was like, I'll be back in like eight hours. And you were like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm probably going to work on our thing. You know, I'm so excited to get record started. some stuff. And I came back. She, she hadn't done anything. I haven't done anything. Because <laughs> I did. I did my job. I know. That's what I did. I did I my know job. you did. But so I'm just, just saying. Like, I'll, maybe at, I don't know, Saturday on Thanksgiving. You're like, wait, pause the cooking. I need to work on this project. Well, you should do it. So I'm really, I'm really excited about that. That's what's going to keep me going, honestly. Um, and nothing else. So I can't wait for putting up, this is getting on a tangent, but yeah. I can't wait for I know, putting you, up. You have like, a set date. I do. Well, because I, I that's do. That's to look forward to. I'm really looking forward. It is. It is. And that's in like, <laughs> sorry, I just had like an out-of-body experience really fast. Um, <laughs> I came back into myself right now. Okay. Um, that's in like five days. That I'm gonna be literally like, let me get out my Christmas decorations. I'm gonna put my TV. I'm a, I'm just gonna I'm, be a free woman. You have I'm, to put something on the TV. I'm put like the fireplace Music. on the TV oh, and yes. then have Spotify playing on my computer. I'm my Christmas playlist, and then I'm gonna make some hot chocolate. Maybe pour oh, hot chocolate yeah. and then add something to it. You should definitely add uh, something to it. What are you okay? <laughs> Anything. Oh, I thought you were talking about alcohol. Yes. Oh, you are. Yes. Oh, very good. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What alcohol do you add to hot chocolate? I don't know, but something. Add, I don't know. Tell do you, us, tell you put us, that? I was like, you don't worry, guys. I'll let you know. Um, <laughs> next week, you throw up when I'm like night. slurring my words, like, okay, guys, it's, we're back you want with hot chocolate. The, yeah. Um, so I'm going to do that and just be like, and decorate. And decorate. And I need to go to Michael's. Oh, I haven't done anything. Oh. Dude, I, again, Christmas gifts. I'm like, it's decorating. a garland. We have old decorations. I need to get some. Some. You got, here's the thing even if you're broke, if you have a negative bank account, you still need to get one new decoration. You can get one thing. One I think new decoration. If you're broke, even a little here you go. This is what oh, I used to do okay. as a child because I didn't have any money, like of my own. Anyway, I <laughs> and still I, don't, I wanted. Still don't. I, still, I still don't <laughs> have any money of my own. But um, I would get you know this is this is this is crafting one hundred and one. Get some get a white everyone go get a white piece of paper. You know at least one place you can go get a white piece of paper. Everyone for owns free. for free. You're right. Go into the library. Okay. They have printers. Open the tray. Steal. Get a, it's get okay. A, get piece of paper. They eight by over. eleven. Eight and a half by eleven, and then you just fold it, and then you cut it, and you make snowflakes. Oh, you're right. Damn, there you go. School. That's like such a joy to my heart right now. Just do I'm that. Inside. That's some decorations. Are you kidding That's me? True. Snowflakes are freaking Stick it on cool. The wall. You'll see Gabby snowflake. Um, yeah, I'll get at some, some point. snowflakes. Um, That's true. Free get decoration. some. Go to you know the evergreen in your neighbor's backyard and get a few branches you off know of what? it. This is so funny because <laughs> I feel like we're like, I knew this was about to happen. Anyway, I was looking outside to my trees like a creep yeah like like a creep <laughs> just staring <laughs> at the bushes yeah and all right. the things and we have like wheat <laughs> sure <laughs> okay is it what it, you know it's like wheat the, yeah wheat like you know what you see in target that's like plastic wheat coming oh, off a like base the, so i thought yes. i can get fresh wheat get it's not really base. wheat though it's weeds that's just no weeds. it's not weeds i said it's like looks like literal, it looks like, like, chaff, wheat, like wheat but it's not wheat you can't eat, you can't make bread out of that Sure, but it, it looks like Yes, wheat. it does, but it's just weeds. Okay, so okay don't, whatever. So Go ahead. Pluck it free. Sure, free. Sure, you a can. Free decoration, and we're still in fall yes. for, for Thanksgiving. Yes. And you pluck whatever <laughs> plants you have plants you okay. have outside. Good. And you can put it in a cup. Yeah. And you have free decoration. Instead of paying $30 paper, dollars from paying Joanna for and a Chip plastic, games? for a plastic thing, it's a dried up thing. It'll probably live, still die, but maybe it'll well, be okay. Yeah. I mean, the weed already kind of, I don't know well, how. We, okay. regardless a free decoration it is a free decoration that's a good idea too because people do like those I like them because they have no color I don't own I know. any but that's what I'm, I'm saying I do I really enjoy, add that on I enjoy. So, so everything this time of year gets too bright you know what we should do yes another post idea because this is the only time we think about what? posts is make a post about our Christmas decorations Ooh, yeah <laughs> I gotta get them up though first <laughs> no no like maybe as we prepare for our last episode which right. will be the Christmas episode yep. we can make a post about me and my wheat mm -hmm. and you and your snowflake I'm not, or, or I whatever. Won't upper, do that. That's fine. That's fine. I know, <laughs> I know, but I'm just like, go with me right now, though. Yes, yes. I'll, of like my little tree. Oh, your little tree. It's like four feet. I want to get a fresh tree so bad. And I said that I want to do that last year and I didn't end up doing it. We'll do it this year then. Go we'll to a tree like farm a along with the rest a of America tree. the day after Thanksgiving to go chop yeah. down a tree. Do you have an axe? What do you think? Actually, Maybe. I had one in my, other, okay, in my yeah. old house. Some people have axes. Anymore, you just so. But um, yeah, I want to get We're some garland. Decorate, put, I know um, around the door. That would be very nice. I, lights. It's a lot of work, but I'll do be, it. Be comfy. I forget the word. It's a Dutch word called chuga. Ch 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 chug? Oh, no. Ch uh, uh, huga. It's H-Y-G-G-E. Yeah. Huga. Which apparently for people with seasonal depression, that cures them. 
probably false. But for people who have an issue there with the season, go. like seasonal affective disorder. Okay, yeah, I haven't Gabrielle. been diagnosed with that. Yeah, but just, you have some sort of problem. Okay, great. Every time she walks outside, she's like, and this is what people say they love. I hate it. Without, that without, is without, no, 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 no. without. Okay. Can I just without, go on a tangent really fast? No, without what? Go ahead. Finish your thought. Go ahead. Every single time. <laughs> Every Not single every time single we time. walk out of our workplace, yeah. she says, whether it's morning, evening, a good day, a bad day, she's like, yeah, you feel that? That's what people love. People say they love this season. Okay, but you have to admit, like, okay, so when so- I understand by August, everyone is like really tired of it being 90 degrees and it's hot and it, everyone's sweating and everyone's touchy and angry because it's so hot and they're irritated. So the first cool breeze that comes through, everyone's like, oh, thank God, yes. <laughs> I understand that. I understand that sentiment. However, I do not understand the sentiment of being in October or November and it being like 20 degrees and like windy is all hell when you walk out and it's like freezing your lips off. Your lips are chapped. Your hands are chapped. It's cold. You're shivering. And everyone being like, this is my favorite season. What are you talking about? This is <laughs> but people, horrible. Like I said, she also walks out in a t-shirt. No, like, no, no. what she's wearing right now and it's 30 it's degrees out? Sleeves. It doesn't matter. There's no jacket. You see me? Because I'll legs. tell you why. I have a I'll tell you why. I have a don't light even, coat don't even that let I me can shed be upset right now. Okay. hot inside. No, because let's let's bring ourselves no, to the let red me tell table, you something. This, this little coffee table. This so is a red table talk. So you can come to reality. I'm going to bring the population to the red table to the red table right now because let me tell you something about I'm, I'm so specifically I'm so northern virginia falls let me tell you know, something but no 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 this is why I hate this season. I, I hate it. Be better 20 prepared. degrees in the morning. Uh-huh. So when I leave, it's 20, okay? Mm-hmm. I go outside at noon or whatever. All of a sudden, it's 55, 60 degrees. And I'm sweating because I decided to wear long sleeves and bring a sweater. So now I'm angry because now I have to carry <laughs> around the sweater and shed and roll up my sleeves constantly because I'm hot. And then when I leave in the evening. I was so aggressive. Because I knew you was about to interrupt and I had to cut you off. <laughs> then in the evening, it's cold again. And let me tell you something else that's really annoying. Because this happens, I have a headache almost every day for three months because of the very rapid temperature changes that occur this time of year. You know what doesn't happen? What doesn't happen is headaches in the summertime because you know how to dress in the summer. T-shirt, jeans, or shorts, or whatever. You know exactly how the weather's going to go in the summer. Fall? I have no freaking clue. It's like and it's game. annoying it's like to me. I hate it. And here's I don't like wearing layers. Like, so that annoys I, me even more. You are my best friend. And I'm totally okay with you I'm being just, the way you are. Okay. All I'm that saying, makes me feel so great. All, all Thank I'm, you. All I'm saying yes. is that you could solve just maybe like 50% of these issues if you came better prepared. Number I, one with I have a sweater on my Number desk. Two, it doesn't matter. Okay. She's talking about a thin cardigan that when I wore, it was completely uneven. That's because I've been sitting sitting on it for like a year. Yeah. Regardless, I keep Mm. a pretty chonky sweater in my office. Mm. I do that you had to wear because you came unprepared. Oh. Um, As like a spare, just in case I didn't guess the temperature correctly or Mm. I stayed later. So I I come prepared so those things don't annoy me. But I don't like carrying extra things that I may or may not need. You don't have to carry it. You leave it at the place that you're going to. I have a sweater at the place. And a blanket. It's not a sweater. It is a and sweater. And the blanket, you're not going to walk it out with a blanket. It used to be a sweater. I wish I could see you walk out with a blanket. I, you know what? To be honest, I probably do will So then I don't point. have to hear. And everybody loves this time of year. But you have to we, admit, like, people be, like, all crazy. Like, yeah, in because September. They have warm, like, oh, my God, Starbucks holiday drinks. Okay. I haven't had. I'm trying to be excited about something. Okay. I had my Irish cream cold brew. Okay. As I mm. butchered the name. My Irish cream cold brew back. Delicious. You had it, like, uh, one time, I liked, though. That's the other thing. And I dragged you about this because she'd been talking about it since like August. And then the first time we go to Starbucks when they have holiday drinks, she doesn't so order. Right she doesn't you're being so loud right now. Oh, I must have me laugh right now. Dude, you're so loud. Because it's shut just up. Me. Regardless, 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 because there was new things to try. Yeah, but you did. So I tried, you'd been talk, still talking because over, I, I'm no, no, explaining no, no, how like you can, no, no, you no, can no, try new things. Just, you can, Dude, you can try new things. so much time on this episode. You can try new things, but you you talked about 
the Irish cream cold brew since like August through like October. And then when they finally bring it back, you go up to the line and you're like, "Uh, I'll have a sugar cut. I'm like, are you kidding me? You've been talking about this for four months. And she's like, yeah, next time you better get that so I can stop hearing you talk about it. And I felt really affirmed as a friend because I'm thinking, wow, she's just annoyed at me. No, I'm not annoyed. I'm just, I think it's funny. healthy communication. Let me, let me go right back at you. She's just complained about everything. No. Everything tastes like, oh, it's too bland. It's too much. No, no, I don't, I don't mind the white mocha tastes different every time. It does taste different. Tim will back me up on that. The you, white, you know, what chocolate. You're trying to the, to- the toasted, 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 toast. I have no toasted clue what you're saying. white chocolate oh. mocha. Yes, you did, but you haven't. No, maybe I have that's not. more consistent. I like the the sugar cookie. I think is a. I know it has sprinkles, and that's stupid. Just all around, whatever. You can ask for no sprinkles. Um, I, you can ask for no sprinkles. But I think for a holiday drink, it's not like like you know what's really bad. Snickerdoodle. No. That's like Christmas throw up. The I never tried one, that. one. It was terrible. So I feel like. I haven't had all of them, but the ones I've had, like the caramel brulee latte, mm-hmm. like they're subtle. They're not super in your face as much as like, for example, pumpkin spice latte or the yep. sticker doodle. Um, but I kind of appreciate that. Maybe not everybody would appreciate that, but I like it. So you can have holiday drinks. You can have extra blankets. I love layers in fall fashion. You can... I'm so tired of no, you. No, we're done listening. with this episode. I'm listening. I'll tell you all the good things yes. you can look forward to. Decorations. I like decorations. Watching movies. Oh well, yeah, I like watching movies. Yeah, all that stuff. I like good. That. Yeah, that's all good things. It's really we just haven't the done weather. this, but oh well, you went on a horror walk, whatever you call that. That was fun. Um, yeah, it was a uh, the we haven't death trail. Thing. We haven't had. We don't have lives, but you can go pumpkin uh, patch, whatever, uh, apple picking, the things you do in really fall. Like okay, but you can do those. things. Oh, I would go apple picking in college, and people would be like, "Aren't exactly. you going to buy your apples?" And, and I'd be like, oh, "I don't like cider. apples." Yeah, but you just go. There's things to do, so there's things to look forward to, and I think. That if you're a person like Gabby, there's certain steps you can take to make the season more enjoyable. That's all I'm saying. But a lot so of those things occur thank outside. Thank you, thank you for okay, coming like to my therapy session. I like how you're cutting And me how off I'm right now. helping everybody out. You didn't. Okay. What were you going to say? No, I was that just you can saying. You go outside and be depressed. No, yeah, no, no. You can't do no, that. No, no. All the things that you're describing take place outside, except for watch movies, and it's cold outside. So I don't want to do those. That's things. fine. So then you watch movies inside. All for and six months. And have hot drinks and, and be for with September friends. For September through And do yoga, whatever that thing. Yoga? Dutch thing, ju- the Dutch thing. Oh, can't, huga. Huga. I think it's But if you read a book huga. on it, apparently it helps, like, you enjoy it's just things like you don't enjoy. The Dutch art of, like, being cozy, cozy. or something. I don't know, but I like it. Exactly. Yeah. So do that. Okay. And now that we've done a complete 180. Now that Millie yelled and at And we me. don't know what the story is even about anymore. Um, you can catch us next week as we finish it. We're so sorry. We, we had to outro, get that out so. of our well, um, you, system. You seem to. I'm so glad everybody was able to witness Millie screaming at me. No one ever believes me. When I didn't raise my voice. I raised mine. You did. Because I had to defend so loud. myself. It like pierced my ears. When Gabby gets too loud, I'm like, oh, Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's so I, annoying. I, like, I put my finger that's towards my ear. That's incredibly annoying to video, me. It's like, uh, 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 uh. And it's so annoying because so I'll like. Loud, so loud. I, no, no, no. I like. Okay. Let me talk quiet. <laughs> I'll, I won't raise oh, my voice. Oh. So, okay. <laughs> I won't even raise my voice. I'll just get like slightly louder in like not yelling, but like in excitement or something. Yeah, it's just like. And Millie's like, much. oh, you're loud. I'm like, are you kidding? This is Millie who's like, every time she laughs, but she's dude. like screaming. And I know never that. do they that. Know that. I yes, they scream. do. I'm sure you've done yeah, that on this podcast I've, and like blown everyone's eardrums out. Oh, probably. If I'm you so have sorry, noise buddy. canceling headphones, everyone's probably like, their ears are bleeding by the, <laughs> between the two of us, really. By the time. Tim said that the other day, or he said something about how we're both like, sh- anyway, shrill or something. <laughs> he said something. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah, whatever. Shout out. Screw you, Tim. Just kidding. Um, uh, but anyway, so we already did the outro like what a, 15 minutes what a, ago. What a disaster. Um, but yes, we hope you get excited about Thanksgiving and we will see you very soon for the next episode. Part de. I'm so done. Goodbye, everybody. That's French. I know. Oh, well. Dos. In Arabic. If nan. Bye.